I was a bit rebellious in my early teenage years. I left my house when I was 15. Started doing things on my own because I thought I knew what was best for me. You know, hurt a lot of people in my family needlessly. Well, I sold drugs. That was my thing. I sold drugs. It, it, it excited me. My drug addiction, you know what I'm saying, made me do a uh, stupidity. I thought it was about me. I started messing with drugs and alcohol, got all screwed up. I had trouble in school, so if I wasn't there, I didn't have no trouble. My final charge was um, a larceny three felony. My record is is with my past wife. It's just abusive. I've been here already. I'm going to be in August. I'm going to be one year. So I'll be like 10 more. I was 21. I felt I was very unprepared to raise another life. I mean, to be honest, I couldn't even raise a plant. I was having a hard time raising myself, directioning myself, and now to incorporate another life in my hands that I have to mold, and all this responsibility just hit me right in my face. I wanted to be a dad, but I just, I didn't know how. I was taught with my dad, I was mostly fear, not respect. And I, I didn't want that for my kids. I remember when my son, you know, he used to say, Dad, come on, play. You know what I'm saying? And I was high and drug. And I just go over there, pay a little bit of attention and leave, you know what I'm saying? It hurt me, you know, because when they come here and they leave, my son's like, I wish daddy come home with us. It really break my heart. It hurt me, you know, because, you know, hurt me because I don't want to be like that, you know. I care about them a lot. And they love me. I wanted to make sure that I could be the best that I could be for her as well. I, I, I didn't want her to grow up thinking that the fighting and the chaos was, was normal. When I came home, I was totally focused on being a different person, making a 360. At that point, that's when I went to the program. It made me realize that it's not about me no more. You know what I'm saying? It's about the kids. At court, Malik stood up next to people and told what they would do like as far as jobs and what they're trying to do. I saw that he was very much respected in that system. And that drew me in basically because I needed help and I didn't know where to turn at the time and I was getting frustrated, which maybe would have ended up in me going back into incarceration, which I knew for sure that's not where I needed to be. I went down there, spoke with him, and from day one, they've always helped me with any problem I've had. I mean, anything. <laughs> Not just as far as being in a program, like how a brother would be with a brother. If my son needed something, or my other kids, they were there for me. It was way more, it was way more than a program. They're just good people there. And they're, they're family people, they're family oriented, so they all know what you're going through. What I got to the program, thanks to Mike. Thanks for him, made me see, you know what I'm saying, made me look life different. Do you know that he's in the fatherhood program? Are you aware yeah. of that? Yeah. Have you noticed a difference in your husband since he started the program? I have. Um, that was actually the last time I seen him telling his mother that he sounds completely different. Really? Just the way he talks, yeah. I think he'll be more patient. I learned a lot about being patient. I learned a lot about consistency as far as communicating with my um, child's mother. I learned a lot about being a man itself as far as guidelines you're supposed to hold yourself by, how you represent yourself, how you feel other people perceive you as a man. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Come in. It's all right. It's okay. You good. You're good. You're good. Come here. They basically gave me every tool I needed to not get aggravated, frustrated, and basically have a pity party for myself with the system. And they let me be a man while doing it. They didn't really babysit me, hold my hand, or be like, okay, we're going to do this for you. They're like, yo, you have to do this for yourself. I respected that. I really did. It helped me. The Madonna's place helped me with 
uh, you know, filling out paper, from filling out paperwork to getting paperwork to returning the paperwork to the courts, um, finding out information. I learned to be a better father. I, I learned to be, spend more time with them. You know, uh, having better communication with them. I learned that. Um, just the different things on how to how to care for my child, how to watch for different things, just how to be a father, how to come up with uh, things to do, like you know, playing with paper and scissors and glue and books and you know just different little things to do with her. Move one of these guys. That's what I would do. I would move this one here. I'll move this one. That's what I would do. Sometimes I'd be home and I'd be getting I'd be getting aggravated with my girlfriend. Like, yo, why you don't do this? Why I don't do that? It taught me that, you know, it's an equal partnership with you and your female. Before he was like he'd get mad very quick. And it wasn't good. Yeah. But now he's he learned to control his anger. He just calmed down. He likes to stay in the house more. Be very family orientated. A provider provides Everything that a child is yearning for. Yeah. Oh my God! No. I got your nose. No, I got your nose. I mean, emotionally, physically. I mean, as far as playing with them, as far as home educating them. You know, it taught me that a father is a nurturer. I'm gonna find a job. Um, I'm planning to get my GD. I don't got it yet. They were so much help with the paperwork that I had to do and with, with my job at the time. I was just basically trying to get any job that could get me the most money at that time to help catch up on my child support and support my son, Makai. I worked third shift at Stopper Shop, overnight stock and grocery, basically throwing stock up all night. As soon as I get out of that, I do a courier work. I mean, I take care of my family. I, I mean, I work, and when I work, I really don't come home with anything. I don't come home with any money for me. All my money goes to my family at this point. And I don't have a problem with that because when I see them happy, I'm happy because I'm taking care of business like a man would. How happy are you to see your family today? Oof, we're happy, we're emotional. We are exciting, you know. I don't even sleep last night, to tell you the truth. Statistics say that the children do what the father does. You don't want your child to be in jail. What do you tell your son? He said, listen, look at me right now. I'm suffering because I don't got you next to me, because I don't got your sister next to me, because I'm apart from my family. This is the consequence. I tell him all the time, you got to finish school. My brother is in college. I tell him, look at my brother. That's a good example, the uncle. To go from not seeing her, seeing her to have her full time is, is amazing. Well, well, sometimes I just play outside and then I just could not. And then my dad said, I can't, and he's working. Or when he's cooking the dinner. What is daddy supposed to do? Tell me to go to my room and take a nap. He tells you when to take a nap? Do you, do you listen to him? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. Sometimes you do, right? But sometimes I don't. And is he a good daddy? We're hoping to be able to have a vacation once a year as a family and, and uh, buy a home and, you know, do the family things and have the cookouts and friends and birthday parties like like everybody else the big ones and maybe one of them blow up jumpy things you know all them great things that you do want to do for your kids that you never had you know i've made peace with myself and i've actually made a lot of people in my family proud which is an overwhelming feeling that can't be replaced by anything i mean my heart is swollen every time i think about my mother looking at me and saying I'm very proud of you right now. 
You're doing so good. Supposed to be like taking care of his kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And playing with them. Mm -hmm. And taking them places. I want to be more close to my son. I want to be more involved in his life. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with my daughter. I want to be in their life. I want to do homework that I don't deal with them. You know what I'm saying? I never sit down with them and do the homework. I want to bring them to school, like I told you. I want to be a volunteer. I want to do a lot of things with them. I want to spend a lot more time there. Are you going to be a better husband, too? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. That's what this program is about. You want to give your daddy a big hug and a kiss? Go ahead. We'll take a picture. Go ahead. I want the best. 